Is your PC slower than a grandma? Tired of losing games because your PC is trash? Then welcome to the ultimate FPS and performance guides. Let's get started. Open Task Manager, go to the Details tab, then right click your game and set priority to high or above normal. This gives the game more CPU power. Now go to the Startup tab and disable all the apps you don't need. They slow down boot time and eat up your resources. Next, go to the Performance tab, click on CPU and check uptime. If it says one day or more, your PC hasn't been fully restarted in a while. To fix that, hold shift and click shutdown. It forces a full power cycle and clears memory issues. Now right click your game, go to properties, then compatibility, check disable full screen optimizations. This reduces input lag and stuttering. Then click change high DPI settings, check override high DPI scaling behavior and set it to application. This fixes blurry textures and improves responsiveness. One more thing, always right click your game and run it as administrator. That gives the game better access to system resources and can prevent crashes. Click the Windows search bar and type game mode. Open it and turn it on, but test both on and off to see what runs smoother on your system. Now go back and open Xbox Game Bars. Turn that off completely. It runs in the background and causes input lag. Next, click graphic settings at the top right. Click browse. Add your game, then hit options and set it to high performance. That makes sure your dedicated GPU runs the game, not the integrated one. If you see hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, turn it on. It can lower input lag and improve frame pacing. But again, test both on and off depending on your setup. Go to your Windows search bar, type mouse settings, go to additional mouse settings, then pointer options. Uncheck enhance pointer precision, click OK. This removes mouse acceleration for better aim. Go to the search bar, type background apps and open it. Turn everything off. They run in the background and waste resources. Now go to the search bar again, type storage settings, Open it and turn off Storage Sense. This avoids high disk usage during gameplay. Scroll down and click on Optimize Drives. Make sure Scheduled Optimization is set to Off. It prevents Windows from running disk tasks while you game. Now on the left sidebar, click Notifications and Actions and turn it off. It won't boost FPS directly, but it helps avoid stutters and pop-ups. Also uncheck these annoying features below to keep your screen clean while gaming. Now search for Windows Update Delivery Settings. This stops Windows from using your PC's resources as an update server for other people's computers. Just turn it off so your PC focuses on your games and programs instead of helping random strangers download updates. Let's navigate to, to the search bar again, type Show Transparency in Windows and turn it off. It removes Windows glassy effects and frees up GPU and CPU power for your game. Now open PowerShell and make sure you run it as administrator. Paste this command, get MM agent. It tells you if memory compression is enabled. If it says true, type disable MM agent dash memory compression. It's a Windows feature that compresses unused RAM instead of moving it to the page file, but it can slow things down. I personally got between 5 to 15 FPS boost when I disabled it. You can re-enable it anytime, just change disable to enable. But for gaming, off is better. Go to the search bar and type adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Set it to adjust for best performance. This removes animations and makes Windows feel faster. You can keep a few things checked so your PC doesn't look ugly. I'll show you which ones on screen. Then switch to the advanced tab and make sure programs is selected instead of background services. Now click on change under virtual memory. Uncheck automatically manage paging file size. Then select custom size. Set the initial size to the same as your RAM in megabytes. For example, if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, multiply 16 by 1024 to get 16,384. Set maximum size to between one and a half and no more than three times the amount of RAM, which is the safest method recommended by Microsoft. In my case, I prefer two times my RAM. So 16,384 multiplied by two equals 32,768. Make sure you have enough free disk space for the maximum size, then click OK and restart your computer. This will help prevent crashes and stutters in large games, and according to Microsoft, it can even help fix high CPU usage. For our next step, open your search bar and type Edit Group Policy. Once it's open, go to Computer Configuration, then Expand Administrative Templates. From there, go to System, then Power Management, and then Power Throttling Settings. Double-click Power Throttling, set it to Enabled, Click Apply, then OK. This stops Windows from limiting background performance 
and gives your CPU full power during gaming. Now type core isolation. Now turn off by clicking the toggle switch to disable it. This feature was using CPU resources to protect your system. Now that power is freed up for your games. <laughs> <laughs> if you want more performance, go to virus and threat protection, then click manage settings and turn real time protection off. This improves FPS and responsiveness by reducing background processes, but removes your real time security protection. Totally your call. If you choose to do this, only disable it while gaming and immediately re enable it afterward. Next, we're enabling Windows' hidden ultimate performance power plan. Open command prompt as administrator, paste this command from the description, hit enter. Then go to power options and select ultimate performance. This keeps your CPU running at full speed instead of constantly adjusting power, giving you better gaming performance. I personally get around 8 FPS improvement, but results vary by system and games. I use high performance daily and switch to ultimate performance when gaming. Test it yourself to see the difference on your hardware. Now, click choose what the power buttons do, then change settings that are currently unavailable and uncheck fast startup. This ensures proper driver loading and prevents startup issues that can affect gaming performance. Now, open task scheduler, navigate to Microsoft, then Windows, Windows Defender. You'll see four Defender tasks, double click each one, go to conditions tab and check start task only if computer is idle. This prevents Windows Defender from running scans while you're gaming, stopping random FPS drops. You can also check application experience tasks. Look for Microsoft compatibility appraiser. Set these to idle only as they can cause stutters during gaming. Also check customer experience improvement program tasks. Set all of these to idle only. These collect usage data from Microsoft and can cause random system activity while gaming. So make them run only when idle. In your search, type services, find background intelligent transfer service, right click it, select properties, click stop and change startup type to disabled, then apply and OK. Now, do the same for these services on screen. Next, we're disabling CPU core parking through registry editor. Press Win plus R, type regedit, hit enter. Paste the command from the description, find value max, double click it, and change the value from 64 to 0, then click OK. This keeps all your CPU cores active and ready, preventing micro stutters during gaming. Restart your computer for it to take effect. Now copy and paste the second registry path from the description. Click on Win32 Priority Separation, and now switch the base from hexadecimal to decimal to avoid any confusion. For better gaming performance, set the value to 26, which gives shorter, faster CPU bursts to foreground applications, prioritizing your game for smoother responsiveness and less stuttering. If you use your PC for heavy multitasking, like video editing alongside gaming or browsing, set the value to 38 for a more balanced CPU allocation between foreground and background tasks. In Steam, go to Settings. Then in Game, I highly recommend turning off Enable the Steam Overlay while in-game. It runs in the background and can slightly impact performance. Also, make sure game recording is off. The rest of the settings are on screen now. Pause the video and apply them. And for the NVIDIA control panel, you've probably already watched 100 videos showing the same stuff, so I won't waste your time there either. But if you want, here are the best optimized settings for gaming performance, less stutters, and higher FPS. For Valorant and CS2, I'll show you the settings most pros use for maximum FPS and competitive advantage. Now let's move on to the real FPS boosters. No matter how much you optimize Windows, BIOS settings are the real game changer. I can't make right I love the